I'm Megan Mitchell. I'm a chef who loves to grill, and I want to teach you how to turn up the heat. Today, I'm making the perfect date night menu, and it all happens on the grill. Grilled chili lime butter lobster tails. They are delicious. Date night doesn't have to break the bank. You can cook lobster, but it doesn't have to be crazy expensive. I'm using Caribbean lobster tails. They're less expensive than Maine lobster tails, and I'm jazzing them up with some chili lime spicy butter. It is unreal. And it starts with butter, unsalted butter, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of chili powder, some pepper, about half a teaspoon as well, and some lime zest. If you don't get lucky with this, I mean, I can't, I can't help you. There's no help in you. This doesn't work. And to make it a little more spicy, some hot sauce. Depends on how spicy you like it. A couple dashes. And now we're gonna cook this. So make sure to keep an eye on this butter. You don't want it to burn. It takes about two to three minutes. You just want it to fully melt and the flavors to incorporate. All right, let's start on these beautiful lobster tails. They look a little daunting. I mean, less daunting than those huge actual lobsters. This is just the tail part. We want to cut these open to expose the meat inside. Best way to do it, some kitchen shears. You wanna cut down through the belly and then take your knife, find that cut you made. And exposing the meat like this, it gets it all charred and grilled and delicious. It's really awesome. So I just want to oil my grates because lobster doesn't have a lot of fat on it. I don't want it to stick. Shellfish sticks a lot. So I just want to make sure it doesn't stick to the actual grill. I'm going to cook them five minutes on cut side first. And make sure you close the lid because you want to trap all that heat inside so it cooks evenly. It's been about five minutes. I have a feeling these are ready to flip. Looks so pretty. I'm gonna baste them with this chili lime, delicious butter. You wanna be careful that this doesn't drip too much into the actual grill, because that's when you get flare-ups. And then your grill catches on fire. All right, so these have cooked for another four to five minutes for a total of eight to 10 minutes. You know they're done. The tails kind of curl. The, the meat firms up and it looks white, no longer translucent. That's when you know these are ready. So I'm gonna drizzle them with a little more of this chili lime butter. It doesn't hurt. So you looks really, really pretty. And I'm gonna put some tarragon. I love the way it complements seafood. The last little bit, some lime juice. Use the lime zest and the butter. The juice just brightens it all up. To make my date night complete, I have this garlicky grilled artichoke. It's very simple, but if you don't want artichokes, you don't like artichokes, you can try my spicy grilled broccolini, some grilled bread, some lobster. This will get the job done right. The chili powder, the hot sauce, the lime juice, the lime zest, the butter, it just complements this perfectly. The tarragon just has a little something different. For this recipe, go to grillnextdoor.yahoo.com. Catch me next week. I'm Megan Mitchell on Grill Next Door on Yahoo.